my goodness guys look at all of these creameries oregon has a cheese tour that's right they have the cheese and food trail and we are going to be making a few stops on this one today hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel now i am here in the oregon area and i was kind of discovering all of the cool things that they have here in the area to explore and amongst all of those things i was surprised by finding out that there is a cheese and food trail now i personally am a huge lover of cheese i love cheese so much and i'm always trying out new flavors new kinds new brands and from different countries and it's super exciting to me whenever i find out that one state actually caters to one of my biggest loves ever so today i think what we're going to do is we're going to hit up at least one of these creameries today and then i'll just kind of be adding to this collection as we go now all of the creameries that we do go to will be found in this one video but there are dozens upon dozens of them and if you pick up one of these maps it makes it super easy to access them because you kind of can plan your trip accordingly so today i think is the perfect day for us to get off to a cheese adventure start this adventure we are traveling along the 101 so what we were kind of thinking was to stop off at a couple of these little stops along the way and I think that this one right here has caught our eye so this is the one that we're gonna be trying out first all in all, there are 50 different locations marked on this particular map. And you can find retail partners and farmer's markets on here as well. I am so excited about this one because this one's going to tie all of the fun together in such a fun way. For those of you who are interested in going along on a cheese tour also, stop off at the Oregon Travel Center and pick up this, this thing right here. about to be good guys this is our first stop on our trail and there's a few things that we need to know they're open Tuesday through Saturday from 11 till 5 and um, they have handmade ice cream here also Ooh, super super excited okay this first one is the hot swab which I'm very fascinated about I love dill, so. Mm. Oh, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be super tough. So I tried the dill and I tried the Cotswold, and they're both good. We tried this one and really liked it, so we're gonna get this and have this on one of our nights at a campground where we have cheese and crackers and some fun. And then we also ended up with some of the garlic herb curds. I can't wait to try these. Riley just found this, so we might use this to help us along a little bit more. Ooh. Okay, so we picked up a Marion Berry ice cream. And again, the ice cream here is a vanilla base that they make in-house, and then they actually mash fresh fruit into here. So all the color that you're seeing is from the fresh fruit, and I am so excited. Also, I wanted to go ahead and try out one of these curds just because these things are huge though. This is a average size curd, and it is a nice firm curd, I must say. We have this nice outdoor space.
Wow, guys, that was delicious. The Marion Berry that they put into that ice cream was, oh, oh, it was so fresh and yummy. And it was perfect for a summer day like today. Now, I will say we did try the cheese curds and we're really going to like those. They have a nice pepperiness to them. It's a garlic and herb, but there is definitely a little bit of pepper in there. Those curds are huge. They're, they're like this big each. So this was a great stop. And altogether, I bought the curds and then also the cheese and my ice cream and it was under $20. So at a creamery, that's a really good price. So I'm definitely happy we stopped here, but this is just the beginning. We have a lot more to go and um, I think you guys are going to like this one. We are off to our next stop on the cheese tour and I cannot wait. This one is a big one and one that you're probably super familiar with. We're super close. We we're in Tillamook and this is going to be probably one of my favorite stops on the Oregon cheese tour. This is going to be epic. So Tillamook is a bit different than some of the other stops along the cheese trail because it has the entire factory that you can actually do a factory tour of. In fact, right up these stairs over here, you can go on a self-guided tour and really soak in all of the amazingness of the history of the Tillamook Creamery. And I think that's awesome. Also, they have a store just behind this panel right here with all of the different Tillamook products. And right over here, they're actually serving up some of their favorites. So we have a lot in store for us on this stop. And uh, I'm only gonna be able to show you a little bit because of course this is a compilation video of all of the cheese trail. So you're gonna have to come here and check it out for yourself. Just as you walk in the door, there is this section right here that is actually a timeline of all of the history of Tillamook. And it's kind of fascinating because not only do they have the individual dates like 1909 when it all began, but you can also find historic photos along this wall and follow the timeline with some fun facts. For example, right here, these two are a young group for example, right here, these are called the Cheese Girls, and they actually were on a float in the 1916 Tillamook County Fair for this. They also have some display pieces like this where you can see what an early butter churn would have looked like. If you have ever seen these, these are little recipe booklets, and they used to be available with their Tillamook cheese. I love this photo right here. This is actually the Tillamook delivery truck, and it is picking up a load of cheese at the first Tillamook Creamery. This is one of the larger independent creameries in town right here. And if you have ever wanted to know how exactly they make the delicious cheese along this wall, they have some secrets. You're gonna wanna check this out. Look at all of those curds. And this timeline progresses all the way up to the construction of this visitor center where we currently are that was built in 2018. So again, a lot of ground to cover and it's a pretty sizable wall with some cool facts. But now it's time for us to move upstairs to the cell got a tour. Now it's time to have some fun. Let's go interact. This should be epic. Feed the baby. Feed the baby. <laughs> oh. Hey Riley, Riley, Riley. Yeah. How well do you know cows? Very little. Very little? Okay, what, what kind do you think that this one is? A brown cow. Cow now, brown cow. Raise it up, raise it up, raise it up. Really? Yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's a milking shorthorn. That's Feeding and milking is hard work. Whoa. Sanitize, sanitize. Sanitize those hands. <laughs> now we're gonna move into the coolest part, which is the factory itself. So we can see from above what's going on. All of the top secret things are probably hidden away realistically, but oh my goodness, it is numbered and you can kind of go through each one of these little zones and see something different. And they have the description of what you're seeing kind of on the wall beside, so that is epic.
Now the attention to detail at each one of these stops is amazing because it really puts into perspective what's going on as you do the self-guided tour. So as you're pulling up to each one of these little stops, they have a little milk jug up here. You can see the station and then also the overall title and then on the wall there's a description but also back behind me you'll see they also have one of these that tells you a little bit more and has illustrations. It's epic. Okay, so I never thought about how many steps went into just like a block of cheese. I know, I know. And it's really cool to see how streamlined they've made it. Right, each station is so precise as to what exactly it does from salting it to shrinking into like the packaging to cutting it to putting it into this thing called the blue octopus. It, it's just quite fascinating and uh, definitely something worth some brain wrinkles for you guys to come here. Now, it is free to come and check out the museum. You only have to pay if you buy something downstairs or you decide to eat here, so that's something. But um, yeah, I think we're gonna go check out the rest of the museum area. Okay, what are we supposed to know, Riley? That Queen Elizabeth II. Wow, she actually sampled some of the cheese in 1977 at the Silver Jubilee. Awesome. Also, did we know? that they produce enough yogurt to fill six Olympic-sized swimming pools annually. Wow. Also, butter was first dairy product made at Tillamook. Wow. So they made butter before they made cheese. That is epic. In fact, as you go along this wall, there are so many buckets with did you know facts and then also quotes and some really cool photos. So this is really, really a neat way to kind of cap off what we just saw. But now, over here, there's something else. Okay, I was today years old whenever I realized that Tillamook actually has a map app that you can find their cheese. That is cool. You can either try it or buy it. Tells you where they are, customer testimonies, and that is really something I had no idea they did. Riley. After yes. all that hard work feeding the baby cow, mm -hmm. we deserve a treat, right? Definitely. This was the whole reason we came to Tillamook. We are going to eat some cheese. Lots of cheese. 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 Okay, so we are now going to get a sample of cheese because, well, you can't come to Tillamook without doing that. And then we're going to go down into the store and possibly the food court to see what else they have. I am so excited about this one because Tillamook makes so many different products and a lot of them I just kind of periodically see as I'm driving and stopping at different stores, but they have the big selection here, so this should be fun. Look at all these cheese curds. That's right, we're cheesing hard. So now that we have our samples, I think we're gonna try them and then we're gonna browse around the store because there's so many options. They even have like a little doggy area. They have so many cheese curds that I am already very excited and they have some other things too. So um, this should be delightful, I cannot wait. It is time, it is time. Two samples, let's see what we think. I've had this one, so I know it's good. I have had this one, and I also know it's good, but I haven't had it fresh out of the factory before, and that does make a difference because I can tell you right now, it, it's a lot softer fresh out of the factory for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up too, and um, that way I have less complications. Ooh, this one's also softer, that's everything. That's so creamy. Mm. That one was just the medium cheddar. Super, super creamy tasting. Definitely love this. Now um, let's go into this guy. This is the smoked black pepper. Now, 
I will say they do have all of the um, ingredients on here and they do have black peppercorns in this so it might be a little spicy. I don't know, we'll see. Tasting it now. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Okay, here we go. Mm. Oh, very smoky. Mm -hmm. Wow. There is a huge difference between this straight out of Tillamook Creamery and getting it at a store when it's been prepackaged. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm gonna finish this. Mm -hmm. Okay, last bite, and then we're gonna go shopping because uh, we already know we need some cheese now. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness, nobody told me that there were other Oregon brands here. This is everything. So you don't just come in and have the cheese. You have other things that you can eat along with the cheese that are fabulous. And then of course that little doggy station over there, Riley is definitely going to end up with something for Tyson, but oh my goodness, look at this. Hazelnut toffee, <gasps> yes. Oh no, we might go broke here. Um, I'm gonna have to make some concessions along the way somewhere for this. Ooh, that looks good too. Raspberry and Marionberry popcorn blend. What? Mushroom jerky? I have never tried this before. I found a patch guys you know what that means I'm getting this for sure oh my goodness guys I got cheese curds so this is gonna be uh, cheese curds and then it has a chili ranch sauce so this is a great way for us to enjoy another stop on the cheese trail I have to say I'm super excited about this stop because not only do we get cheese but we get a cooked cheese so that's gonna be very different than most of the places that we're gonna be going to along the way and um, this smells so good right now. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just take one of these, dip it in, and try a bite. So uh, here we go. Mmm, that is delightful. Ooh, ooh. This has a little bit of kick to it. It's super good though. Mmm, 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 mmm. Give me a minute. Of course, now I have to try one without the sauce just because, um, yeah, cheese curds, I love them. Mmm. The breading is very different than most cheese curds that you get. It's nice and soft. The cheese is delicious. Very squeaky still. Super, super good. Yes, yes, and yes. Hey, tell me what you got here. I got a pepperoni pizza. Ooh, with the Tillamook cheese on it. Yup, it came highly recommended. Yum, yum. For our next stop on the cheese trail, we're at Blue Heron French Cheese Company, and they have an area where you can actually come out here and pet some of the cute little animals. This has been so epic.
Okay, once we moved inside, there is actually a gift shop area and then also a treats area. They also have some food here that you can pick up if you're interested in getting a lunch. So, very interesting. This is also located in Tillamook. So there's two huge cheese places here in Tillamook. Quite interesting. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what all's on the menu here because this one is a French cheese company. So they should have some different flavors, right? Let's go look. Ooh, I love some baked brie. This could be delightful. And of course you can't come to a cheese factory without seeing a few cheese boards. Now another interesting thing is they don't just have the things that they make here. They share the love with all of the different unique cheeses. So you can find a lot of different flavors here from different brands as well. Which I love because it gives you an opportunity to kind of see different things and then also figure out what exactly you're hungry for. Now it's hard to come into here without buying something. So I know we're gonna end up with something. I'm just not sure yet. And oh yeah, we have a guest here with us on this part of the trip that wasn't on the other two. We actually have Aussie Bandman with us and he loves grilled cheese and he he loves cheese so I can only imagine he's gonna end up with a few things also. Ooh, these fruit spreads look delicious and they actually have a few samples and I want to try this tangerine marmalade because it looks delicious so let's grab one of these and try it out. Okay here we go. Mm. Oh my gosh that is delicious. That is in a glass container, but I'm seriously contemplating breaking my rule of keeping glass in my van. That is really good. They have regular brie, pepper brie, and smoked brie. And look at all of these curds. So cheddar cheese, chipotle, garlic, pepper. I mean, it looks like they have two-tone and garlic and dill, which are usually my favorites. They also have wine here. So this is wine and cheese. So you can find your perfect pairing and they actually have a tasting room. In fact, in this room right here, you can taste many of the flavors that they have and find what you want. So we decided to get cheese. This is gonna be delightful. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up here at the Blue Heron. I have had such a good time. It was so fun and we're all leaving with a little bag of gifts. In fact, I picked up two different kinds of cheeses. Brock ended up with one with a couple of different truffles. Riley ended up with a couple of different samples also that she wants to try out. So we all have something super, super fun. So guys, I recommend that you guys pick up the Oregon Cheese Trail map. You won't regret it. These were only three of the many stops that are available to us out there and it's definitely super super fun remember we're not here for a long time but we are here for a good time it's something that can uh, be delightful and uh, tasty and absolutely delicious is definitely that until next time guys bye